Look how nasty this GPU is. I got asked before, what do I clean stuff up with? And I'm gonna show you. The ball bag dust on any of the hardware, we use this handy little hoover and it blows better than your mum. For the plastics, we use something called elbow grease and we also use it on the heat sink as well once you've blown away all the dust. A various array of brushes. Sorry, anything PCB wise will not have anything sprayed onto it. That's cleaned dry, essentially. Simple tools, you can make your GPU go from this to this. Now with every part cleaned up and dust free, this now makes it easier for us to start working on the next bit, which is measuring our thermal pads and cleaning up the thermal paste off that, and then reapplying new pads. The most accurate way to measure thermal pads is with one of these little measuring calipers, and as you can see there, it'll tell me the exact mill that I need for every pad, because funny enough, they don't all use the same pads, and some cards have multiple different sizes, so we want to make sure we're using the correct size. A little fun fact, thermal pads are actually stackable as well, so if you have the same brand, like this one, and the same thermal output, like this one, then yes, you can stack them on top of each other to make sure you get the correct size. All I've got to do with this is get some thermal paste on there, and we're good to go. I would say that is pretty clean. I would go as far as saying that looks almost new, but let's put it back on the bench to ensure that everything is as it should be. And 17 minutes in, we are looking good. Obviously I'm gonna let this sit for another 40 minutes or so, but that is exactly where it should be. Now we've got another one to do. Peace.